Today I will demonstrate how to set up Noxbot so you can use it on your live stream to respond to keywords and phrases, execute certain actions, or even allow viewers to queue up for your event or viewer games. We will go over how to define keywords, create timed actions, manage your stream queue, and how to enable Noxbot. So first, you need to go to noxbot.gg on your browser, then click login with Facebook. You will have to log in with your Facebook account that manages your pages, then click continue. If it's the first time you're logging in, you will be asked to select which pages you want to use with Noxbot. So for this demo, I will uh, just link all three of the pages here, then click next. You will have to allow Noxbot the following permission so it functions properly, then click done. Click OK. This should take you to the Noxbot dashboard now. On the upper left corner of the dashboard page, you'll be able to access the page selector. If you click this one, you'll be able to switch between the pages that you have linked to Noxbot. So for this demo, we will be using the Mad Potato Gaming page, so let's click this. Just below the page selector is the status of Noxbot and the switch to turn it on. So we will be using this later to hook up Noxbot to our live stream. So now let's dive into defining keywords and the respective actions you want to do when those keywords are matched. Let's go to the keywords page from the navigation menu here. By default, there are three predefined keywords and actions. The exclamation commands, exclamation queue, and the exclamation roll. Let's focus first on creating a new exclamation command. To do this, uh, click on add new keyword. Then, let's say you want to let your viewers know your Steam ID when they type exclamation Steam. Just type exclamation Steam on the keyword field here. Then, let's just leave the matching type or match by to start with. Uh, for the action, uh, there are actually several different actions available right now but we'll discuss this on another video. Uh, since we just want Noxbot to respond with your Steam ID, just choose auto reply. If you don't want the responses to sound or look too repetitive, you can use message variants. So just click add message variant here. So you can add a variation of your response. So for example, let's keep it simple with Steam ID, so and so. Okay. With this, Noxbot will randomize among these two message variants when responding to the keyword. The last two options are simple enough. Let's just leave this enabled. Then let's uncheck hidden so exclamation steam will show up in the list of commands. Then let's hit save. So now we've created our very first keyword. Uh, there are actually various creative ways to use Noxbot to engage with your viewers even with just the auto reply action. So to give an example, you can greet back whenever a viewer says good morning in the chat. So let's create a quick example for this. Click add new keyword. Let's put good morning in the keyword field and change the matching type to contains. This way, as long as the comment contains good morning, the phrase good morning, Noxbot will be able to catch that and respond. So again, let's just use the auto reply action. Then greet back the viewer with a simple good morning. Okay, let's add more variants for this one for the testing later. Good morning. Let's have some coffee. Then a personalized message. Good morning to you to name. Okay, let's leave it enabled and uh, let's keep it hidden so the good morning keyword will not show up in the list of commands and hit save. Now we have created two new keywords aside from the three default keyword commands. So let's now jump quickly to timed actions. Timed actions allow you to execute an action on set intervals. Uh, let's create one now by clicking add new timed action. Right now, there's only one action available since Noxbot is still under active development and that is the post a comment action. This will allow Noxbot to chat or post a comment on your live stream. 
Uh, in this example, we will create a reminder for our viewers to follow the stream if they like our content. So let's set the title to follow reminder. Action is post a comment. And similar to the keyword actions, we can define different message variants to avoid repetitiveness. So let's uh, define to don't forget to follow if you like our content. Then add message variant. Type exclamation notify to get notifications whenever we're live. There. The next section is for configuring the interval and minimum number of comments required before we execute this timed action. If we set this to 5 minutes and 10 comments, this action will execute every 5 minutes if there are at least 10 comments since the last time it executed. So if the 5 minutes has already passed but there are only 2 new comments, the action will not be executed. This is mostly to avoid spamming an empty stream chat. Okay, so let's leave this enabled and click save. So that's it. Now we've created our first timed action to remind our viewers to follow if they like our stream. Let's go ahead and test this on our live stream. You can proceed with your own flow of going live. Uh, it actually doesn't matter which software or method you use to go live. Uh, you just need to be live first before turning on Noxbot so it can hook up to your stream properly. If you try turning on Noxbot before going live, it will just say no live video found. Like this. No live video found since we're still not live. So for this tutorial, let's just do a quick live stream using a blank camera to test our keywords. Let me go live real quick here. Again, we'll be using the Mad Potato Gaming page for our testing. Uh, I've already prepared the live stream earlier, so let's just go live. Once you're live, you can go back to Noxbot dashboard to enable Noxbot. From the Noxbot dashboard, just click on the switch to turn on Noxbot. This green circle now indicates that Noxbot has successfully hooked up to our live stream and is now ready to process the keywords and execute the timed action. So let's go to our live stream now. Okay, so this is our live stream right now. Uh, one thing to note here is that at the moment, Noxbot will not process comments made by your own page. Uh, this is to avoid infinite loops in processing keywords in comments. So. Let's use uh, a different profile to comment. Now let's test the exclamation steam command that we've created earlier. Exclamation steam. Okay, so Noxbot responded with, with your page and using uh, one of the message variants we've defined earlier. So now let's try the good morning. Uh, we used the contains matching type so uh, anywhere in the comment as long as it contains good morning, it, uh, Noxbot should be, should be able to catch that. So let's just try that. Hey, good morning, for example. Okay, so as you can see, uh, Noxbot was able to detect the good morning keyword and respond accordingly. Uh, up next, let's uh, quickly test the queuing feature, one of the unique features of Noxbot to manage your uh, viewer game queue. So on the home page, there is the stream queue block. You'll be able to set how many people can queue up. So let's just leave it uh, at 20, then turn on the queue. So. Uh, with this one, uh, your users, your viewers can type exclamation queue space their username so you can reference them quickly in game so this that is actually optional but it would be helpful so you can find them quickly in your friends list uh in the game so for example exclamation queue rad links so this will queue me up as rad links in the stream queue there uh noxbot responded with you've been added to the queue this is also customizable in the dashboard so as you can see uh, the stream queue now has one item, Nox Playroom, uh, with the highlighted text rad links because we've added our own in-game username. So you can remove this, you can check the items you want to remove from the queue, or you can quickly uh, clear the queue 
and once you've done uh, with the allotted time for queuing you can turn it off again so people won't keep uh, joining the queue okay so that's the quick demonstration once you're done with your live stream uh, and ended your live video uh, you can also turn off Nox but after some time it will turn itself off but uh, you can manually turn it off also okay hopefully you have fun with Noxbot. Uh, we're looking forward to different creative ways to uh, utilize Noxbot features uh, more features coming soon uh, hopefully you can support us thank you guys